On admission to a hospital, long-term care facility, program or service in the Regina Coppell Health Region, you will be asked about your goals of medical care. Goals of care are used by your healthcare team to describe the type of medical care you would want today if you became sick and could not speak for yourself. If you have never thought about what medical care would be acceptable to you, it is important to do this before an admission to a hospital or long-term care facility. Taking the time to think about your values, experience and wishes, talking to those close to you, and writing down the type of medical care you would want or not want is called advanced care planning. You may be given or you can request the My Voice Planning in Advance for Healthcare booklet, which is available to help you have discussions, which can be difficult, with those closest to you including your family and doctor. It also encourages you to name a proxy. A proxy is the person you legally appoint in writing to make your healthcare decisions when you are no longer able. Before we describe the four goals for medical care that you can choose from, think about your values, wishes and experiences by asking yourself, what is important to me right now? What beliefs do I have? What concerns, worries or fears do I have now and in the future? What medical treatments might be too much for me? Now let's talk about the four general approaches to providing medical care in the Regina Coppell Health Region. Your options are full treatment, full treatment conditional, limited additional interventions, or comfort measures only. You choose one of the four goals for your medical care. Full treatment. You may decide to choose full treatment as your goal for medical care. Full treatment includes life-saving and life-prolonging measures that focus on extending your life. Doctors and nurses will use intensive medical and surgical interventions if these are needed to keep you alive. This includes all appropriate medical care available in the hospital such as a breathing machine, kidney dialysis, or cardiopulmonary resuscitation, commonly known as CPR. Full treatment conditional. You may want full medical treatment, but for a period of time. This is called full treatment conditional. In this approach, intensive medical and surgical interventions focused on extending your life are provided on a trial basis. There is an ongoing review. If it is likely that your condition is not reversible and may result in a quality of life that is unacceptable to you, this goal of care gives permission to your proxy or nearest relative and the healthcare team to change the goal of your medical care. With full treatment or full treatment conditional, CPR is something you need to think about. Let's take a moment to talk about CPR. CPR is the treatment used to try and restart a person's heart after it has stopped beating. The heart may stop for many reasons. You may have seen CPR in television shows. In real life, CPR is much less successful in restarting the heart than it is on TV. CPR works best in emergency situations and when a person is healthy. If you are frail, suffering from an advanced illness, or at the natural end of your life, it is important to ask your doctor about the chances of CPR being successful for you when considering full treatment and full treatment conditional. Let's now talk about the next two goals of care that do not include intensive treatments such as a ventilator and CPR. Limited additional interventions. You may want treatments and interventions which manage your medical condition and help you maintain a quality of life acceptable to you. This does not include heroic measures such as CPR. This is called limited additional interventions. You may have a chronic disease or a palliative condition where there is no longer a cure but you wish to maintain your current state of health as long as possible. Examples of treatment and interventions which may be offered include surgery, kidney dialysis, antibiotics to treat infections, and feeding tubes. Many of these treatments will require an admission to hospital. Comfort measures only. 
When you reach the natural end of life, or are suffering from a serious illness or disease, you may want care that focuses on providing comfort and relieving symptoms. This is called Comfort Measures Only. This goal provides you with maximum comfort and control of symptoms common at the end of life. You may receive medication and other medical treatments to help control pain, help with difficulties breathing, or feeling sick to your stomach. The main goal is not to prolong life through heroic measures such as CPR. Comfort care does not mean you receive less care. Respectful attention is directed to both your physical and emotional needs. This type of care may take place in your home, a long-term care facility, hospice or hospital. It is important to know when choosing a medical goal of care that we sometimes change our mind as our health and life circumstances change. This is normal. The healthcare team will take the time to review your goals of care with you on each admission and answer your questions. It is also important to remember that you are an active participant in your health care. Talk to those close to you and appoint a proxy. Talk to your doctor and a health care team and understand your medical condition. Choose the goal of care for medical treatment that is best for you and reflects your values, wishes and beliefs. For more information, contact 